Sam's father wants that Sam learns the importance of saving money. So he gave Sam a piggy bank and some money to store. He gave Sam one rupee on day one, two rupees on day two, three rupees on day three, and so on, for a month that had thirty days. Whereas Sela's father gave her 450 rupees at the end of the month, that is, after 30 days. Who will have more money, Sela or Sam? To compare, we need to first find out how much money Sam will have after 30 days. Notice that the numbers 1, 2, 3 and so on till 30 are an arithmetic progression. The total money that Sam will have after 30 days is in the form of sum of n term of an arithmetic progression. Let's learn how to find the sum of first n terms of an arithmetic progression. To find the sum of 30 terms of arithmetic progression, let's first denote the sum by s suffix 30, read simply as s30. Next, we can also write the sum as 30 plus 29 plus 28 and so on, plus 2, plus 1. Adding the equations 1 and 2, on the left hand side we get 2 times S30. On the right hand side we get the sum S31 plus 31 plus 31, and so on, plus 31, 30 times. Therefore we can write the sum S30 as 30 times 31 over 2, which is equal to 465. As you can see, we can now compare who has more money. Sam has more money than Sela. Let's now derive the general formula to find the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression. Let's say A is the first term in the list of numbers in the arithmetic progression. D is the common difference of the terms. And n is the number of terms whose sum is to be found out. The first n terms of the arithmetic progression, whose first term is a and common difference is d, are a, a plus d, a plus 2d, and so on, till a plus n minus 1 times d. We write the sum of the first n terms of this arithmetic progression as a plus, a plus d plus, a plus 2d, and so on, plus a plus n minus 2 times d plus, a plus n minus 1 times d. Let's denote the sum as Sn. We write the sum in reverse order as shown. Now we add the two equations 1 and 2 as shown here. We get 2 times Sn equals n times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Finally, dividing both sides by 2, we get the sum of first n terms of the arithmetic progression is equal to n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Notice that a plus n minus 1 times d, that is a n, is the last term in the given n terms. The sum of n terms can therefore be written as n over 2 times a plus l, where L is the last term in the given n terms of the arithmetic progression.